going to take this creation, and I just wanted to show you some resin pieces that I have made in the past couple days. The first thing that I have made is this cotton candy. And I joined the back. The only thing I have not done is joined the front. Besides that. like the only one that I personally took from that kit. Um, <coughs> I made these crochet earrings. And I actually got the beads from, um, these crochet beads from Eye Candy um, shop by Killer Cat. Eye Candy is a shop on Facebook. Check it out. It has a really lot of cool, good charms. I made this one. This one is a heart sticker, but the glitter kind of sank to the bottom. And it's back to going, which is pretty. This one's a pretty bad fail. I tried doming the back, and um, the resin just sank to the front of the charm there. started to float to the top. Oops. Get that. I made these, um, I think it's just like a random plastic piece that I found in a toy room, uh, my son's, um, toys when I, uh, unpackaged it, and it had a really cool shape. So I just filled the plastic with mold, with uh, the plastic, well, I filled it up with resin like a mold, but, um, it just really didn't work that well. I tried to take this one out, and it just, it wouldn't come out. I had to, like, seal it up. So now it's, like, not even shiny. It's, like, the raw glitter. Plus the resin, I didn't mix the resin right, and, um, it became very crusty, and didn't harden, so that's kind of a fail. This one's shiny only because I put the plastic around it, because this is actually plastic on top of it. And I had to put the mold, I had to put the plastic away from the resin. Uh, here's some more. Um, those sparkles. These I used the circular um, mold from Clear Caster. But I use the same resin bag, so these also, sadly, you can't knife, but again, they never harden. They're flexible. But I probably still use them for some other jewelry. Maybe some sort of heart in them or triple thick or something. I also made these oops, teardrop earrings with the um, squishy back of resin, so I'm going to try to glaze these and see if I get them hard with triple thick. Maybe you see pull for triple thick or get them nice and sturdy. Those are so pretty, sparkly. Um, Glitter charm. This is another. This one kind of got fucked up too. Kind of got messed up too. Um. Yeah. The the resin kind of. Uh, when I 
still in the box. The resin's just trying to stick around in there. So, you've got that part of the front, that's the back, but once again when I filmed back it um, created this little spool on the front, so that's really hard to clear resin on the top. This actually used to be a pixie dust charm that I had. My son actually just dumped all the bear out, and I was devastated. But I kept the bottle, and I've had it for, like, years. So I finally decided, since I had all this extra litter, glitter laying around after I made um, my sugar pill charms and my um, resin charms, I just shifted all the glitter off of my um, desk. gonna wire wrap this and make it into a um pixie dust charm so yeah just um this just shows you that you know you should never really throw like little things like this away just keep them in like your jewelry box like i did because you never know like you could always find things to do with it some you can always find some way to reuse it I really hope you all enjoyed um, the stuff that I have made for you, and I hope you all really like it, and please leave your comments up at the bottom, and please like the video, please, please like the video, I can't stress that enough, I, I would like some likes, <laughs> I like to be liked, <laughs> alright, love you, thank you, and for um, watching, <laughs> have a good day.